I'm sorry. What kind of a program it is? Uh, so I'm an associate professor of political science at UC San Diego. Um, political science courses teach uh, undergraduate students about how government works and how policies get made and how they affect people. So when we think about political science, we on the one hand are thinking about how individuals can have voice in a democracy, uh, but on the other hand we're also very interested in how people use that voice to either advance policies that um, need fixing uh, or to you know uh, get more political power for certain groups so it's a very interesting sort of blend of um, power on the one hand but also uh, the public good on the other hand Well, I think one of the important things about this form today is that AAPIs in general have not flexed their political muscle. So as a group, AAPIs are one of the fastest growing demographics in the country. But in American democracy, in order to translate numbers into political power, people have to vote. And so the more that we can do to encourage AAPIs to vote, then hopefully that will translate into more political representation so that when decision makers are thinking about making policies, they think about the interests of AAPIs. Okay, so one of the questions that I like to think about is how much better equipped our democracy would be to address our pressing societal problems if those in power looked more like the changing demographics of American society. Now, we can't really get there until people of color, including AAPIs, vote. So first step is to improve participation in American democracy. So increase things like voter engagement, voter registration, uh, voter turnout, etc. And then hopefully then after that, we will see more people of color as elected officials, including AAPIs as elected officials, so that when my kids grow up, they can see decision makers who look like them.